Hello there and welcome back to another day where I have some free time. And in this day's video of Unstandard C, we'll be now implementing uh, just a few of the syscalls for now as C functions. So let us get started. First by making the header for Unix standard. And well, um, we can have the usual header guard over here. So I'll just call that any standard h and if um, define and actually comment this out. So how should we do this? There is the sysexit function. But how did glibc do this? So let's see, exit is in, oh, they put an underscore in it. I see, I see. So let us do the same. Exit with a status. So exit. Then I want write that will return a long value. So write then an unsigned integer. For the file descriptor, then the buffer being constant. And then the count. So I think it's long unsigned. For the count, we'll be implementing these two for now. So, here in the source files, we now have uni sd. So, exit.c and write.c. So, over here, we can include um, the Unix standard h. Also, the syscalls, so include syscall h, then use the syscall function for 60, then the status. So, why is it still doing that? Maybe I've missed something else for the compiler. But well, we'll use GCC's um, built-in unreachable to tell the compiler that this function does not return. So there's exit. Then I need write over here. So paste this to. Then in write, uh, you can just technically return the syscall two, one, and the standard output. Well, no, it's the file descriptor, then the buffer, then the count. Also, we have the standard library function exit. So if not defined, um, stdlib h though the exit function over here we just call on the Unix standard exit. So we can do that. So exit in status. Add that here, standard library, um, exit, that's C. So include um, standard lib, void exit, and status. And that will call on the Unix standard for exit. 
status. Now let's add this into the build folder. Well, not folder, file. So add the following headers. Um, standard lib. That h. Then the Unix standard. Uni std. Then for the sources, we'll be adding a bit more. Or we can use a glob function over here. So let's try building this. Okay. And then we can change the C runtime a bit more. So over here, there's the syscall. But well, we can remove that. What we actually need to call is the standard libraries exit, which we'll be changing on later. And I believe for extra call other than main, it would add an extra 8 to the stack. So we can remove 8 here now. And then recompile hello. And let's see what would happen. So hello. Still wrong, surprisingly. So let's see the object map of this again. Oh, it's still subtracting 16. So gotta add 8 back. Wait a minute. So after this, it's not doing it, surprisingly. So let's try it now. OK, it's now correct again. Now here back at test, we can include the Unix standard where we can use the write function. Well, we don't have the macro set for the file descriptors, but anyways, let's try hello world now. And that's 14 bytes. So also, let's go back to returning zero. So, um, Oh, I missed build. There you go. Hello world. And we have done it. And we'll just be steadily implement the other syscalls as C functions as well. And that will be going on for the next few videos. But the goal after that will be um, implement the other standard function, C standard functions, like malloc, printf, and the likes, most especially variadic functions. So thank you for sticking with me this far, and may I see you on the next one.